Hi, my friends. So I wanted to be able to show you how we make our screen smaller so that we can see Google Classroom and Zoom at the same time. So starting from the beginning, I'm going to show you what you need to do every morning when you log into your computer. Remember, every morning when you log in, it should take you to Clever. So I'm going to open up my Clever and you can see what that looks like. My Clever looks a little different because it's a teacher Clever. Not now. There you go. Okay, so remember in your Clever, every morning you will go to Google Classroom. So you'll click on your Google Classroom link and then you will open Johns Hopkins, which is our class. Once you open up your Johns Hopkins class, you'll go to Classwork and you find your Google Classroom. So this is where it gets tricky. Remember, we wanna be able to see this and our Zoom screen at the same time. So to make our internet screen smaller, I'm gonna click up here. This X means to leave it, and we don't want to leave this page because we need it. This makes it smaller. So I'm actually gonna click on these little boxes to change the size of my screen. I'll click right here and ignore that other one. We're just looking at this one. You can see it made my box smaller. I can change it like this. I can change it to make it smaller this way. You want it to be about half the size of your screen so that you can see both this and Zoom at the same time. So I'm gonna make this a little bigger, like right there but you can adapt the size. So remember to open your Zoom for Thursday, you'll click on Bobcat Camp, Thursday, so this is 8.30 to 12.30, and I'll open this Zoom link. I'm not gonna do that because I'm already on Zoom, but when you open it up, you can use the same little box like this in Zoom to make it fit on this side of your screen. So even if I open this, I'll show you how it can fit over here. I can't open a new Zoom because I'm talking to you, but I made it smaller and I made it fit over here. So I can see my Google Classroom and my Zoom at the same time. When we're going to Nearpod, we have to go back into our Google Classroom. So today we tried the Math Nearpod. So we scroll all the way down to Math. And we had our Wednesday 9 to 20, so September 2nd, 2020, Math Practice Nearpod. So you'll open that and click on the link. And look, it stays right in here in the small box I already made. That way, my Zoom can stay up over here and I can still see the teacher. First, you type in your name. So I type my name, Hannah. And then you join the lesson. And once you've joined the lesson, you can do everything on the lesson, but still see and hear the teacher. So remember, when you go into Zoom, you also want to use this box to make Zoom take up half of your screen. When I press that box again, it makes it bigger. So I want to press these little boxes to make it small, and then I can use the arrows to change the size of the screen so I can see it really well. And that's how you share and make them both fit on your screen. Go ahead and try this out tonight or you can try it tomorrow morning, but this is something we'll be doing a lot, so it's important to practice.